Hi, I'm Joel from the Pet Shop Boys, and today I'm going to be giving you seven helpful hints on feeding your pet lorikeet. Better palm nectar pellets. They're a very palatable flavour. Uh, they're an apple flavour, so quite easy for the birds to accept. They're also made with uh, Australian fresh ingredients. They're also a complete balanced diet with vitamins and minerals added in. Also, being a pellet, being a dry food, they help to stop the birds from squirting, which is one of the downfalls of a lorry key. Again, we use the Shep's Lorry Dry. We find it's one of the better foods that you can get. Um, it's not filled up with a lot of breadcrumbs like a lot of the other foods are. When feeding your lorikeet, start with four clean, sterilised feeding dishes. The first one, which should always have a clean, fresh supply of water, which should be replaced every morning for the bird. The second one, which we have here, is the nectar pellets, which is the better farm nectar pellets. I've also, in the third dish, we have lorry dry. And in the fourth dish, we have the lorry wet. When feeding your lorikeet's lorry wet, has to be mixed up and discarded after two hours of mixing. When mixing it, it is one part of the lorry wet to two parts of warm water, which is preferably boiled water that has been just that cooled down to a certain extent. Also, fruit can be offered into a bowl, or you can, uh, you can get some of these small feeding skewers, which are quite a good idea to hang around the cage to keep the birds occupied as well as getting their nutritional value from their fruit. Most of the time while feeding your cat lorikeet, it's going to be into the into a cage. I start with putting the water in over to one side, which then on the opposite side I would put the lorry dry. As you'll find the birds will go into the water and straight into the food, and that's why that has to be discarded because it will get water around the edge and can grow bacteria. So I have those over opposite sides of the cage. With the lorry wet closest to the water, the nectar pellets closest to the lorry dry. That way you've got two, two dry foods and two wet. That way if the bird hops in and has a bath, that's not going to put water into its dry food or into its pellets. By following these seven basic tips that I've given you, um, and by feeding the bird a good, balanced, complete nutritional diet, you'll find that you'll have a companion and a good friend for quite some years.